Hi there, my name is Terry Gong and um, I'm making this video on indicators of a heart attack. And I want to start by saying that the classic movie Sharp Pain, Chest Grabbing Heart Attack is uh, not a symptom. It is truly a heart attack. Um, remember that this video is trying to help you recognize and prevent heart attacks. What are some of the typical symptoms? Of course, uh, there's uh, chest discomfort. In my case, the inside center left of my chest, there was like a constant pressure, like a thumb was pressing up against it all the time. There's also upper body discomfort too, constant uh, shoulder and neck pain. It felt like it was like pressing here on the, the vessels. Uh, back pain, occasional heartburn. I thought I had uh, stomach problems too. There was shortness of breath. Now, in my case, it, I had a feeling of drowning. It wasn't like a gasping for air, but it was more like a feeling. A sluggish inhale, a psychological like, almost a panic feeling. It came about the same time at around 6 or 9 p.m. at night. And um, I was thinking maybe it was my thyroid or my thyroid problems. Long-term signs, for the last two years my friends were telling me that at times I looked very tired or wasn't looking good. It was uh, probably because my heart wasn't pumping enough blood and uh, the fact that I couldn't relax. It was uh, progressively getting worse. I probably would have died within another year if I tried out to ride it out. My other long-term symptoms were red or bloodshot eyes, big bags under my eyes from, from shallow sleep, uh, darkness around my eyes and fatigue. Immediately after the procedure, two days later, I looked much better because I was sleeping much deeper. Or I believe I'm sleeping much deeper now. Emergency crews, I think, are great, uh, but they are not the final or definitive word. During this past year, I've taken the initiative to call and go to the ER thinking that the worst was going to happen and I was going to die. I'm 50 years old. I look much younger than my age and I'm not really that obese. And it's good to look young, but it really doesn't help medical teams diagnose or ID heart uh, problems. I too have a thyroid condition which causes heart palpitations. So I think the ER technicians and nurses and the duty doctor looking at me may have presumed that I wasn't having heart failure. I am uh, not negating the great job that Lester Medical ER team did and when I went in. They did grade A textbook uh, um, ER care. They put me at the head of the line, they took my blood pressure, they gave me nitro, uh, they gave me words of reassurance and later they did an enzyme uh, blood check. I'm not saying that after... What I'm saying is that after you see an ER team or the guys in the white coats and they tell you that you appear to be okay, you may actually feel that you're okay. But then you might reason that maybe you're just having a panic attack or hyperventilation like I was and it may lure you into a sense of a false sense of security. In your mind you'll say, well maybe I'm not having heart failure. They will of course tell you to follow up and see a doctor and do another EKG or an ECG, but you won't because it's only human nature. No one wants to come to grips with the fact that they have major health issues like a heart defect, arteriosclerosis, or cancer. Get informed, see a heart specialist, and get a cardiac MRI or a catheter angiogram. Be informed and take action. I'm not a doctor and so I did look up this information on the internet. Certain websites suggest that you do a C ECG or an EKG, but in my case they didn't help. I had 90% blockage in one of my arteries and I think a stress test could have done me in. Enzyme testing can only tell you that you may have a heart attack or you may have some heart tissue that's already dead. So whatever you do, don't wait at least get a cardiac MRI or catheter angiogram as soon as possible. Now let's look at uh, some of my uh, cardiac MRI images. Mm -hmm. 
general heart overview, the RCA is to the left and the LDA is to the right. The right coronary artery is left and the left anterior descending artery group is center and the LCX is barely visible <clears throat> is going off to the right. Now we'll go ahead and look at the top view of the LAD and the LCX. The LAD is going around the top and a di diagonal branch is running underneath it and the left circumflex, or the CX, is going down in the view. Here's a close-up of the CX junction. The circumflex artery, this is the general view of the circumflex artery, and the MRA shows that it is blocked at the top and at the bottom. Top is of course of major concern. Here we are looking at the LAD and uh, uh, we see the LAD in the parts of concern. top and uh, we're looking at the bottom of the LAD. We're now looking at the RCA or the right coronary artery. And the right coronary artery is, um, you can see that it uh, goes down and it branches off. The RCA looks a little weak and may have to be bypassed at a later time. Here is the uh, top view of the um, RCA. The RCA is uh, coming out of the bottom and is running the uh, length of the heart. As you can see here, you can see here at the bottom. The RCA and its uh, marginal branches are supposed to be the dominant and uh, uh, arteries, and they go all the way to the back. There is blockage at the last segment of this picture, as you can see here. Part two is a catheter angiography with uh, with stenting.